Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Mousy, the ultimate SL clout chaser, and I'm here with my beautiful little cotton ball, my little puppy here. Mwah, love her so much. She's so cute. She's so cute. Um, I don't know about you guys, but SL pets are like my emotional support animals. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Um, so guys, this is what the video is about. If you couldn't tell from the title already, I haven't figured out what the title is, but it's basically how to unboring your second life. I have a lot of SL people that I kind of hang out with, not necessarily like friends, friends that I hang out with on an everyday basis, but you know, people that I talk to or on a casual basis might see around different role play sims and things like that. And they often say things to me like, oh my God, second life is so boring. I almost didn't log in today or second life is just mad boring because all oh, i feel like all there is to do here is shop so um we're gonna get into that in some ways or tips and tricks that i think will help you make your diversify your second life and make your second life experience so much more fulfilling and enriched things that i do because personally i don't feel like there's enough hours in the day to get all the things that i want to get done in second life you know in addition to what i have to do in real life and then my real life hobbies or going out and having brunch or meeting up with friends or attending festivals doing things with my son like there isn't enough time to do both to the you know to the level that i would like to right um and I don't think I'm going to mention really having SL businesses because I do feel like that takes up a lot of time, but not everyone in SL want to have an SL business, right? I, and I also have a story time for you guys about why I'm here and didn't go to work today because my God, that was a terrifying experience, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Maybe I'll break up the video and tell you guys about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is Second Life family and friends second life is only good as good as the people you surround yourself with so number one you know i'm not going to go into this too much in depth but you have to be discerning about the people that you allow in your circle but once you ha feel like you have a good circle of people around you like your inner circle people that you can trust people who are supportive of you they're not like dry hating on you or you know giving you backhand compliments or doing weird shit and trying to snake you if you feel like you have people that you can trust like friendships that you've grown over time like little by little um don't put it all on the floor immediately don't put all your business out there immediately but you know just little by little you just layer on hey how are you doing you kind of talk about things that you do in sl you kind of discuss your future plans or aspirations for sl you guys have a relationship based on maybe common interests then maybe maybe if you choose to you layer in a little bit real life not any specific details but kind of like what you're doing on the weekend maybe things that you're interested in outside of sl maybe what city you live in without giving a lot of details and then you just go from there because to be honest with you the events that take place in second life mimic real life where things change relatively fast you will have a lot to talk about based on people you meet events that you attend so on and so forth you can have relationships in second life that's a hundred percent second life based so don't feel pressure to do that but you will need to make friends to do that a lot of us add people to our friends list that we never like hit up we don't say how you doing what are you doing or maybe we do it once and the person might be a little bit busy and we don't follow up with them after that uh so something that i would suggest to make friends in second life is a when your people are having events like people that's on your list go there and show love like you don't have to go to every single event go there show love jump in the person's box if there's something you like about the event the decor or the music the DJ you guys can talk about it obviously they can't have a full blown conversation with you if they're having an event but it's like a little bit of a connection point that you could build upon later hey what DJ did you use what was your experience I heard this DJ is good what do you think of this person what was your experience with um, such and such and you guys can talk like that um, I want to have an event but I'm not sure what to have and events are not limited to um, events are not limited to like business owners or club owners or sim rp sim owners no 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 
as an individual in Second Life, you can have a barbecue, you can have an SL roleplay dinner party um, and just invite a few people. That would be an amazing way to get a group of people together, a few who may know each other, but others who don't, that you guys can have conversation. You see this table behind me here? I've had many roleplay dinners that started like, say, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that lasted to the wee hours of the morning and we're just talking and having fun. We have a chatterbox on the table, we're asking each other questions, we're playing games and conversations evolve and we're just having a great time. So those are just like some brief ways that you can interact with people in order to make friends. You might ask where, that's gonna come up a little bit later on in the video. Now let's go into part B of this, your tribe, SL family. If you can get yourself into an SL family or start an SL family of your own, I highly recommend it. You know, before I used to be a little sketched out. I'm like, I don't know if I want like a grown ass person playing my SL kid. I wasn't really sure about it. But guys, I've done it this time around coming back after four years. I've been in SL six years total, right? It's maybe six and a half years at this point. I'm not really sure, but it hasn't been as long as some others. My first go around, I focused on SL business, maybe SL relationships, friendships, but I did not involve myself in SL family. Absolutely not. This go round, I'm heavily involved in having SL family role play and I love it, guys. I cannot express to you how much joy it's brought to my life, how enriching it's been to my second life experience. So um, I'm going to tell you briefly how I met my SL son. I was at the grand event and I saw this person there whose complexity was like almost 500,000, 400,000. I was like, <laughs> and I'm just a person you know i know a lot of you guys are allergic to strangers boxes but i am not so i just hit him up and i was like oh my god what is going on with you uh what what you got going on that your complexity is like 400k or 500k and he's like oh i'm new to second life and then he told me his age and um i was like damn i'm old enough to be your mom that's what i said joking around like i would have had to have you early but i'm definitely old enough to be your mom right and he was like why don't you be my mom then and i was like bet we didn't do a trial we didn't do anything but we just fit i don't know how to explain it kb is like one of the best things that ever happened to me shortly thereafter i met mac and mac and i just clicked like we hung out one day like i i think i met him so i did meet him on a mutual friends rp sim and there was something that had happened and i was like ain't you tired like that and i was just teasing him a little bit and then we were talking about a situation that occurred and he's like i was on my way to go to this casino and i was like oh i love casinos he's like bet then you're with me so we hung out and we've never stopped hanging out ever since like we just took to like we we just clicked i don't know how to explain it and it's that's unusual for me because it's not easy for me to connect with people and i don't know what happened with me and mac like we just had like a deep but kind of surface conversation at the same time if that makes sense and it just we just connected we connected a lot of times i i sometimes talk to people and it's superficial perfunctionary response kind of conversation like how's the weather type conversation but it wasn't that it was like a little bit deeper than that and the it was just an easy flow it was a great dynamic good chemistry and we've never stopped hanging out and here we are like nine months later so mac became kb's dad kb has a girl and then she ended up having children and that's how our sl family began so if your sl family doesn't happen as organically as that what you can do is go on second life instagram i do have a second life facebook but i cannot get in there guys so i wouldn't gonna advise you to go to second life instagram i love it because i feel like it's most uh, I, where i find out where sl events are sl new clothing and things that i might be interested in that's not on seraphim that's not being promoted maybe on um the traditional websites that you might go to like essential inventory i feel like those things are very limited it is it covers certain sectors of the grid and it's kind of repetitive it's the same creators over and over again instagram is like a little bit new more fresher and it's more diversified in terms of who you can connect with um in terms of their products as creators like you just see a lot more stuff so let's go here so where are my sl second life right now um i am a kyra Py uh, karma pyrex and i am following this group second life adoption center 
Yep, I'm following this. And we're just going to go through a couple. You can use the Second Life Adoption Center to find friends, or you can use it to find um, kids or sisters or brothers or dads or whatever, right? It says, please review the Second Life Adopt 2024 rules. I haven't really reviewed it yet. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but I'm just we're just going to go through some of them. So we're looking for someone to RP my daughter, Summer Bell. An account is provided. It's an LGBTQ friendly family willing to change your name. So you have to be willing to, I guess, pick up their last name or something active, willing to speak outside of SL like Instagram, Facebook or Discord, willing to do a two week trial before the account is provided. You will have si uh, siblings and no family hopping. I don't know the ins and out like a family hopping or the trials and stuff because like i told you this is my first experience and it kind of just happened organically but it's been great looking for a father for my unborn twins must be active a few times a week must help support them not just me they will be bots for a while until i trust people to take over i like this idea message me directly for more information or if you have questions looking for a dad i provide for myself won't be making any changes to my obby won't be taking on last names willing to take pictures but won't be used as a picture prop so i guess they want the person to be involved must be active two or three times a week must be okay with one or two week trial must be okay with co-parenting must be lgbt friendly no drama must do family activities except me in all obvious okay and looking for friends and family contact if you're interested and i'll stop here hi i'm quinlan i'm always active out the i'm always active out the week i'm independent real life comes first of course i do work i'm fun goofy chill very outgoing love to have fun and meet new people i'm from louisiana i came from imbu i'm looking for friends and family no drama please just inbox me for more or information just hit me up for more information okay looking to adopt lgp lgbt friendly enjoys family trips rp communities i don't mind if you play sl for an entire month just stay in touch via ig or discord if you don't play sl for an entire month just stay in touch via ig or discord must be wanting to trial to build a solid bond single father and no i won't meet your mama i have a daughter and a big family so I guess single, no, I won't meet your mama means that he's not looking to date about me. I'm very open-minded, constantly striving every day to be a better version of myself. And I'll motivate you to do the same all around a positive dude. Life is too short to be serious all the time. So let's just have fun. I stay out the way and out of drama. So don't bring it this way. Looking to create a safe family space for my kids and wanting to expand my family. If you're interested, comment below or DM me at folly worlds okay so that's that all right so we'll just leave it here we'll do this one and that's it so bubbles is looking for a mom hi i'm bubbles i'm fun loving and outgoing i'm looking for a mom that communicates must be active at least three times a week communication is very important to me and <clears throat> let's just go here back to i'm going to go to sl adopt and see what comes up so if you go to so there's tons of like second life adoption pages where people are looking for friends and all kinds of things right so you can use second life as a resource for yourself some things that my sl family and i do you guys know we love to game so we love to go to carnivals we love gaming i wanted to, we took the my sl grandson to the zoo that was really fun with my older son we go to gaming sims we just hang out and talk we're gonna have meet the parents or meet the in-laws dinner with um Mackenzie or Kenzie, who is my SL son KB's wife. So we do things like that. Uh, Mac proposed I, <laughs> to me. And so we've kind of been looking at, I took them to look at wedding venues. He was helping Mac get a ring. Like it's just been so beautiful. And it's been a really nice experience for me. I am not an expert on building SL family. I don't know about the drama that comes along with it because I have not experienced that. My experience has been 100% positive. Those of you who are more familiar with SL families, if you want to leave any tips to make that more of a successful experience in terms of how to avoid drama, how to ensure the bond is solid, how to be clear on what you need and what the person desires to make sure it's a true match please leave comments below to help out your fellow uh viewers so yeah i i would say doing a trial does definitely make sense 
Um, and you know, you can add sisters, you can add uh, aunties and brothers and other nieces and nephews. And so our friends, speaking of nieces and nephews, our friends have kids. And so all of a sudden we've become aunties, you know, I'm TT and Mac is uncle. And so we have nephews and nieces, not nieces, but more nephews. And that's been fun. And there's a lot going on with that. So when nephew comes on the sim, we take him bowling, we do things with him, maybe go kart racing. That was the next event that I had planned. We have an older nephew who's like a pro boxer that Mac, Mac is training. So I just love it guys. And it helps your SL roleplay not be boring. And I'll put timestamps in these because right now we're at 15 minutes. So then we're going to move on to the next thing. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, what else can you do? Explore different communities, join different groups, right? Whether it's like fashion communities, gaming, role play, or art, being part of different communities can introduce you to like minded people. And they're also going to be exciting events that you can be a part of. So in my past videos, I've showed you communities like um, the one Mac owns, a hundred block. And it's an urban role play community. There's criminal element. We now have a chief of police. I put out a newsletter talking about the girls who move in and what they're supposedly doing, who's dating who. And it's fun. And like everyone on that Sims never met each other, but they've become friends as a result of being there. We have Lux LA. Lux LA is like a lifestyle Sim in LA. And there's a Malibu and all these different locations like Rodeo Drive and um, Compton and all these different LA locations there. If you like that lifestyle, the palm trees, the beaches, the sun and the sand, but you also like the aspect of kind of like clout chasing where you get to be an actress or you want to make a name for yourself in your role play, that would be a great place for you to go to if you like fantasy role play you guys i showed you a fantasy role play sim in my last video on tips and tricks for renting an sl so that you can end up like um becoming a fairy and be fully immersed in that environment where they have like blacksmith and the awesome clothing the fantasy fairy costumes that you wear and the names and the businesses related to that join those type of communities if you love sci-fi or if you love samurai sword fighting like my friend Zhao loves these are the type of communities that you should join so that you can make friends and meet like-minded people who share the same interests with you if you love anime that's something that you want to look for so some of the questions that you might ask hold on let me just take a sip of something to drink some of the questions that you might ask is where can i meet um or where can i find these sims i typically just go here like i go to my like chat log box here i go to contents and i search um and let's say that i wanted like a uh, role play i just search for like role play groups and I hit the members button because I want to toggle it from oldest to most, like uh, most populated to least populated. So um, just look at different role play. So there's fantasy role play for, so here, fantasy role play for the Oracle region and role play games. Lots of role play groups welcome. Other role play sims and groups may post free here. Role play events here, no rental ads, no posts for art. RP activities that cost Linden because I guess they want this to be fun for the game. And then there's a Discord here. Um, look at this Greenhaven Roleplay, a great alliance realm open for all to roleplay. We use the SF Unity Meter for combat. The group is also used to post roleplay stories or solo RP affiliated with the Greenhaven Sim. Remember, only moderate content is allowed. There's Gore Roleplay. I didn't even know that still existed. Real Family Roleplay. This is a group only for people wanting realistic family roleplay. This means medium to heavy roleplay in most cases. We want the story times, the bed times, the bath times, the homework help, scout classes, whatever roleplay ideas pop into our head. So find a community that best kind of aligns with what you want for yourself within Second Life and that's an idea in order to get into i wonder will instagram provide second life role play let's see something so let's search this second life role play okay so the first thing that comes up is bayside city and that's mila's role play sim 
So immersive residential role play, Second Life community. So that comes up there. There's community meetings. I see there's some events, White Hat Summer Spash. There was a party July 20th. So there's, I mean, you could use Second Life for that. Okay, so let's do that. Second Life role play. Let's just see what comes up. So we had Bayside. So let's just go to this one. So GTA role play server, hard care, hardcore role play. So I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, it, this is, I'm sorry, guys. This looks like it's more, let's wait for that ambulance to pass. This looks like more of GTA role play than it is Second Life. I don't know why it says Second Life here, because it definitely says Los Santos. But let's just try one more Second Life role play. And maybe we'll try, uh... Second Life Roleplay Portugal. So there's a community here. That actually looks like GTA 2. Why are they capitalizing on Second Life's name? Let's do two different words. So anyway, guys, if you have Second Life role play that you feel like people should know about, definitely put it on Instagram because obviously you see it's lacking there. The only person that has their role play community up there seems to be Mila. Or maybe if there's other ways to search it, let me know. And obviously use your other SL social medias like Facebook and Prim Feed or whatever else might be out there. So join a role play community. So that's one or different communities. Like maybe you're into sports, like join a sporting community or, um, a uh, book club. I used to be a part of a book club and a writer's group and a uh, master class for people who love setting goals and have type A personalities. I met a lot of people there. I'm into gotcha, so I'm part of the gotcha community. So join communities, okay? The next one is participate in event and activities. That is not limited to uh, music concert, DJ parties, art exhibits, and fashion shows. These events are great for meeting people and having fun. So hit up some DJs. So let me just go to my groups really quick. And I'm going to put Benji's name. So De DJ Benji has a fan group. And he has like a party almost every night. And sometimes he has VIP sections for 1500 to 3500 Linden, or early access tickets 500 Linden, some of the events are paid, some of the booths cost money if you want to be seen and kind of um, role play this kind of baller lifestyle. Or other times, most of the time, 99% of the time, it's 100% free for people who want to just attend the party. The parties are so much fun. DJ Hoodrich, if, you ha if you're on his friend list, he TPs you to his parties. Any of your favorite DJs that you love and admire, like X uh, Club Exhale is a really popular place and we'll go there shortly. Club Exhale is a really popular place. There's a bunch of DJs there. If there's a DJ whose set is just fire and you love all their music, join their group so that you could be a part of it. And you could also chat with people within the groups and stuff and hopefully make friends outside of it that you're like, hey girl, what's up? Or uh, bro, you want to check out this party with me? And then that's how you kind of make friends, right? So join these different communities and groups um i want to see something let's just search for like book club or writers club book i book island in discussions the sl book club with drax or i know a lot of you guys have heard of that second life book club there's all these book clubs and groups right uh creative writing Creative writing, creative artists and musicians, a group for awareness and support of all creative events in Second Life. There you go. This group welcomes spam as long as it's announced creative events. A nightclub with a regular DJ event is not a creative event. An art show with a DJ playing music is. This is for live music, art shows, and truly creative events. One announcement per event, please. Members can now invite others. It doesn't have to be yours. It could be one you stumble upon. Get creative and share it. Okay, so there's a group right here. Um, and I'm not part of the group. Otherwise, I would go to the notices. Um, I've been to Second Life, like poetry, uh, slams where people would come up and read their poetry and they've always been packed. Let's say you could put a hundred people on a sim. There's at minimum been 75 to 77 people on there. So that's always been packed. I've been to art exhibit museums. Amazing. I love that. Um, and you want to go to one that's kind of full. 
I, and I'm going to talk about destinations shortly. The problem with destinations is I don't feel like it has enough diversity, right? That's the problem with Second Life um, destinations. It's it's a little repetitive. It's a little redundant. There's so much more out there. That's why I say use your social media groups such as um, Instagram and Facebook to see a diverse range of events that may not be on destinations. But I'll show you how to use destinations as well and use these groups. I used to be a part of like a live music group. It used to pop up <laughs> all the time and I would just read it. Sometimes it'd be blues, sometimes it'd be live singing. If it was a vet venue that seemed interesting to me, I would go. If it was a dress style where you had to wear all white, all black, maybe neons, I might go depending on if it appealed to me or not. Um, depending on the genre of music it was i would go and i would tell you nine out of ten times i would have a good time and i would meet people there occasionally so that's something to think about right so that was number three um participating in events and activities and events can also be like hunts and contests and games recently mac told me about a bowling contest that was being had for money it was like four people to a lane I don't know how he heard about that. Um, usually these things are done on role play sims, car shows where the best car wins money. Even if you don't have a car, you can go and vote and talk and maybe ask people, hey, where'd you get this car from? That sort of thing. So yeah, just try to, the, the point is, do not sit on your platform. If you want SL to be fun, you have to go out there a little bit, guys. Okay, put yourself out there. All right, so we're gonna do number four learning new skills and that could be building and scripting um let's see if we could go to uh there's a scripting school let's do this search scripting school scripting is a little hard college of scripting and music science we're gonna go over there because i feel like i've just been standing here so that may not may not make the video so fun so let's just go over there And let's minimize this and move this out the way. I feel like the school has definitely changed. Yeah, because it used to be an entire building before. Sit for two minutes and to get scripting books. So you can sit there for two minutes to get scripting books. Let me see if you could actually use this book here. To buy the scripting book is 1,400 Linden. If you join the group, I'm sure you can... Um, I've joined scripting books and what's happened is in these scripting books, I found um, classes that were being held 100% free. So you can uh, find people who are holding scripting classes. So there's that. So this is the book that costs 1,400 Linden. You can go through the book and maybe do some, let's go to book one. So this is book one, Linden scripting language. It's our goal to make objects we create have brains we can use the script in any object and it will perform well for us we might want to make books with flipping pages compasses security system vehicles radars and pianos linden scripting language is about events did something happen like a person touching an object colliding sitting paying sensing attaching ro rotating like positions things like that so it shows you how to create a new script right click on an object edit it hit new script left click the content button type your script here that you want your first script touch start owner says you own this default is used in every script so let's try that and it let me actually edit here darn it so i gotta follow through right um so let's do new script let's go to new script i'm just gonna follow what it says so touch start integers so we have default scripts are really tricky because you have to be so precise right so let's just go touch underscore start integer and i'm just we're all just learning so it's going to be like a little okay and then the lex line should be a bracket and then it says owner says so ll and usually i feel like this can this part can be picked up right meaning hold on a second let's do it this way i'm just going to keep the capital so owner capital o w n e r s capital s a y and I don't see a zero here, so I'm going to take that away. 
So it just goes, you own this. You own this. No exclamation point, parentheses. Okay. And there's nothing else after this, just the closing bracket. So I'm just going to get rid of all this. We're just going to get rid of all that. And we're going to save it and let's see if that works. That didn't work. Hold on a second. Okay, so default touch underscore start integer x ll owner. There it is. So let's save that. I don't know why that didn't work. But anyways, you could come here and practice things like this. So default touch underscore start integer x ll owner says parentheses you own this and maybe the bracket is too far apart hold on a second i'm going to correct this off screen correct right. let's correct this off script Okay. Let's see if that works. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm such a dumbass. Hold on a second. I'm on unavailable, so that's my probably why we're not seeing stuff in local. Okay, let's see if that works now. Default is using a touch stars event that would trigger something when someone touches. Owner is the function that will send a message to the owner only, but it's not sending me a message. You own this semicolon underscore send message to current or curly bracket is your message should use quotation marks. Inner X is a variable that we declare that we can name it, but I don't know why it's not working for us. Did it say default? Yeah, totally default, curly bracket, touch underscore start, integer x. x. Owner, you own this. Okay, is that going to work? Let's see. If it doesn't work, I'm going to figure this out. I wonder why the x is red, though. I've made harder scripts than this. Compile successful, like there's no errors here either. So anyways, if you wanna frustrate yourself and learn about scripts, you can definitely come here to do that and you can learn on your own. I don't know why it's not saying that you own it. Hold on a second. It's like thinking, but it's not doing anything. All right, so let's try this one. I feel like it's the integer x thing that's killing me. So I N T E G R. X, right? Owner says hi owner. Maybe it's the period. I don't really know. So like hi owner. Let's just try that one. I could stay here for hours trying to figure this out. Not a lot of fun for most people, but if you're in the group, you can ask the group for help too. And let's save this one. Will this work? Is our top piece of bread to close? Touch start is forming another scent, which our owner is the meat. We make these curly brackets to make the script. 
owner says hi owner on your keyboard will align with the code to make it more we'll use the line our event function will also tab these functions that are inside the events a function is used inside the event not good all right, so let's check our curly brackets like it says here. So curly bracket, default curly bracket, touch underscore start, integer x, should it be lowercase? Okay, curly bracket, owner says, hi owner, parentheses, semicolon, curly bracket, curly bracket. That looks perfect to me. That looks perfect to me. Okay. Expect a string variable, string message, but we write our own value, hi owner. Okay, which we did. The quotes make the value a string. Okay, we did that. Owner says, say something. Say a message only to the current object of this owner. And I am the owner of this. But you're not saying anything to me. It will only send a message to the owner of the object. If you give this object to someone else, then it would say the message to them since they are the new owner. And then we have the colors. Hmm. All right, I'm going to just try this one because it's like frustrating me. Default. I used to be like okay at this stuff, so I don't know why it's not. Um, so let's do this state underscore entry. Mm -hmm. Curly bracket. This is going to be set text. Set text. Okay, we have the brackets to say howdy, howdy. Howdy, okay. And then we have instead of, but it only has one parentheses, right? So let's just do one parentheses and a comma. So that should be fine. And then we have the triangle bracket. One point oh, those are colors. Comma one point oh, comma one point oh. Let's close the bracket. Comma one point oh. Semicolon, and then we have curly bracket. We need the correct backslash. So hold on a second. I always, I can. Okay, put text on top of prim, put text on top of, and then we have the closing, but I think this is just a note, like you don't, is that going to work? So anybody who could script, can you tell me what I'm doing wrong? String message is the text of your message. Vector color is the color. Float alpha is the transparency of your text. That's what these three different things is. The vector is white. The float is solid, meaning totally visible. Okay. Let me just, let me run this through a corrector. Let me just see something. Correct, correct script. See how much time I wasted doing this? But you're learning a skill though. So it says it's almost correct. It's just improper formatting. All right, let's try this. Default state entry. Text howdy da 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 da. Put text on top of prim. Save. This better work. Uh, 
uh, reset scripts. It's like it's doing something, but it's not. Default state entry. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. So that's a one and that's a zero and that's a one. Let's change it because is it, it can't be invisible because it's not saying something to me in local either. So that's the thing. That's how I know it's not right. Something's not right. Now this is really bothering me. So let's search for a scripting group. Let's join this group. Oh, this is an uh, introductory class. So there's classes too. But I actually want to get like scripting help. So let's see if there's, oh, I'm not paying for it though. Scripting school, scripting world. This group is for scripting teachers, mentors, scripting classes are announced here. Let's see if someone's there to help me though. Open chat. Hi everyone, what did I do wrong? This is not working. All right, let's see if anyone responds to me. Okay, so you have, this book does work. I've made plenty of scripts with this. The scripting, Compiling didn't give us an error message, but these are some of the things that you could learn at the scripting school. I promise you their scripts does work. Just try it out. If you're a scripter and you know what I did wrong, just tell people. It tells you how to, how to, um, it just tells you everything, like how to make simple scripts like hover text, how to make, change the colors in your hover text. Uh, I'm just trying to see, let's just go through color coding items, the sides of a cube, types of punctuations, like it goes into details. Forward slashes make comments, division signs to divide numbers, plus signs. Like it just tells you everything little by little. If you go through this book, um, I don't know, a page or two a day, you'll be, you, you'll have a little bit of skills here. So you wouldn't need to worry about that. We'll see if someone responds at this group. So another place I wanna show you is Builders Brewery because they also have a lot of classes. So Builders Brew, let's see if it comes up for me. I think I was like, um, All right, so this is Builders Brewery. They have a Discord too, but this is their like in-world place. It's like a virtual school. They teach you everything. Like they teach you how to make a teleporter. We'll see if we could find something with the classes on here. It looks like really like kind of old school, but it's like really a, a wealth of information in this place. Join the group. Uh, Builders Brewery is an all-volunteer, not-for-profit school. It helps group, a help group, an educational event host, Builder Sandbox, and an active creative community. A strange, a rather strange name for a school, perhaps, but that's just a hint of what makes thriving creative education-based community so much fun. We're proud to be the largest, one of the most active and respective educational resources on the grid, if not in all virtual worlds for that matter. From our highly acclaimed school with always free classes to our fun and helpful, helpful Builders Brewery group. And they are super helpful. Like um, one day we were like, Mac was building a house and for some reason there was an object that was like non-transferable in the house. And so they helped him like identify what it was because this house was like 300 pieces. Um, if you're having issues like with scripting or getting like pieces to fix to root prims like they can help you with that yeah so this is actually a really good place uh schedule of information touch and invent hold on a second 
classes are always free. I wish they could give us like the, where do we find the classes? So get information. So these are the classroom landmarks. So there's an online calendar, Builder's Brewery calendar. Let's look at that. We're gonna cheat the system a little bit. Let's look at that. Classes are always listed in SLT time. There's no need to pre-register, show up early enough to res and get set up, read the prerequisites prior to joining a class. Please remove any animated and scripted attachment. The classes are on general rated region, so please dress appropriately. Okay, we'll just wait for that to come up. And these are the different classes over here. So we'll just wait for that to pop up. Okay. Should we like go to a class area? And it also says classes are for you know registration. If you're confused, you need help, just get the help here. If you're part of the group, oh, I crashed, guys. If you're part of the group, <clears throat> It like literally tells you what, let me just log back in y'all. If you're part of the group, it literally tells you what uh, classes to are coming up. So let's say you're in the group, a pop-up comes, hey, we're learning how to create a teleport HUD. Hey, we're learning Blender 101. Hey, we're learning uh, texturing. Hey, we're gonna create a piano. So at one o'clock or two o'clock or three o'clock like that so yeah it's a very helpful group i think that you'd be really smart to join in and you'd have a great time so we're just waiting for the game to load back in and i think i'll give you two more and that's it because i did waste a lot of time on the um i wasted a lot of time on trying to script before your eyes so learning new skills we did and then um, also you could start a project or a business venture. I kind of talk about that in my gotcha videos. But what I will say is, I was at Versino last. What I will say is that it's not really necessary. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to move the camera out because I don't want to be like naked on the screen, okay? And I want to cheat the system and do the uh, Builders Brewery class because I definitely want to show you that if possible. So let's go in here. I wish I could tell if it were like searching or something. Okay. Let me just fix my Avi pose. Oh, darn. It took me to Second Life Marketplace. I did not want to go there. Two, three, four. That one. It's so weird, it took me to Instagram, so why won't it take me to the Builder's Brewery page? I wish the classes would just show up on a board. Like, that would be make life so much easier. It would really make life so much easier if it just showed up on a board somewhere. What if I don't want to make a fluffy widget thing a particular cast? Because we will learn tricks and tools, techniques that will begin your journey to create anything you can imagine. If I go there, will it give more information? Let's see. Let's minimize this. So this kind of takes us to where we are now, right? Okay, I minimized that. Let's put that down. So this is what the class looks like. You just sit on one of these barrels here. And typically, that's a suggestion box. So usually there's like a box here that gives you all the notes for the class. And um, I wonder if I have one. I don't know. I wouldn't know what the name of it is. Click the rest box. Okay. 
unfortunately the teacher didn't leave the box here so this is what the class looks like guys like basically you sit here with a bunch of obvious that you don't really know maybe you talk to people in class you ask for help but you'll definitely learn different skills in second life um on instagram right i wanted to show you this too so let's see something let's go back to the second life marketplace if i can get back on insta let's see if i can instagram I did say like remember me on this page so let's see if that works it's not going to remember me i want to be pre-signed in i don't want to sign in all this stuff here but there's a person on instagram her name is sl kitty she teaches mesh classes there are people on instagram who teach about how to make jewelry like the earrings that i'm wearing um there are people who teach you how to build furniture items they teach as well a lot of times it's in prim but it could also be in mesh so if you learn skills and then you start tinkering around and doing things for fun even if it's not for business purposes Purposes. It's just for the love of it. And so that you can have objects for yourself, that would be really helpful. So those are just some ideas about how to build skills. I do want to touch on destinations though. So on destinations, there are categories that you can kind of check out. Okay, so what's hot right now? So a lot of people are typically at London City, which is like a kind of hangout sim. It's a multi-level freebie store and it's like a voice sim where people just talk and hang out. People are always at Exhale Dance Club. The problem with Exhale is like um, people just park there and stand around. They want to be seen. There's the Warehouse 21. It's industrial steampunk theme underground music club. So there's definitely a lot of places you can go for music. I would say one of the friendliest music clubs I've been to, Backdrop Cities, where you could take pictures, there's tons of backdrops, is Muddy's Cafe is like one of my favorite ones. Um, I haven't been there a really long time. Skilled Gaming Regions, I've shown you guys that in the past. If you want adoption agencies in world, this is an adoption agency option where you can find friends, kids, or family, a coffee house, skilled gaming region. Like these are things that you can do here. All right. We don't have to stay in the what's hot right now section. There are like sports sections. So SL surfing, cycling, there's SL cycling, there's wrestling, vehicle stimulation, cheerleading, fatality if you want to box, right? Um, sailing clubs if you want to sail, virtual wrestling entertainment. Um, let's do you want to go here let's go to this cheerotopia place i've never been there so we're just checking it out together you're invited to join the cheertopia group i it said 11 people here so i'm just curious to see who's here oh she's a trainee i'm gonna say hi Hi, Venus. And, and it just looks like you just train on the, look, it looks like she's just training literally on some objects here, but I just wonder like if there's any like events that you compete in and stuff like that. Hi, Karma. So just wondering how this all works. Like, will I be part of a team? And are there competitions? And I spoke that out. Oh, she's just a trainee. She's a really nice avatar. So what so what do you do here? All right, so I'm like, I'm gonna ask her, you should ask a cheerleader. Are there any here? It does say 11 people, but it's like, okay. So there's Charlize here. There's a cheer admin. Okay, we can ask her. Let's copy and paste, too much typing. 
I don't know if she's a bot or not. Are you a person? Oh, she said ask Charlie's. Oh, Charlie's is a mentor. Okay, so we'll ask Charlie's. I don't know if she voices. I definitely want to try that uh, machine there. Okay. Thanks. I wonder how she heard about this. Wow. She just looks like she's jumping. So sit here. I guess you have to have a HUD, huh? Like, so you just jump for points? Okay, I'm gonna bug her one or one more time. What are you doing now? Charlie's hasn't really responded. Okay, that's her doing her jump. Hi, can you, I'm gonna ask her if she can hear me, cause please God, cause I'd rather not type. Oh, so she has a panel coming up, so I guess she's trying to get really high scores on her jumps and stuff, that's what it looks like. She said barely. Okay, so much for making friends in Second Life, right? Not super friendly. Okay. Okay, thanks. All right, let's come back, guys. Um, well, not come back. We'll just go somewhere else. Let's find somewhere else on destinations. Uh, uh oh, this video is not turning out the way that I wanted it to. All right, let's find somewhere else on destinations to go to all right so vitality you guys kind of already know about so let's pick somewhere else oh maybe i could ask this lady this is mia oh hi mia can you hear me Oh, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Charlies. She said she'll hand it to Mia. Maybe she will say. Okay, so basically, I was like making a SL YouTube video on things not to do um, to make your SL not boring. And I went on destinations and I was telling people maybe they should join sports because my SL partner boxes and I know tons of people who golf and do different things. But even though this is like, predominantly a woman a lot of women are in sl there doesn't seem to be like a lot of sporting events geared towards women so this seems like something that might be fun that people might be interested in but i just have no idea how it works or even what like venus is doing like this is cheerleading yep yep so how does this all work she's training her dismount uh-huh And if, if someone were to, she's training, so could not answer. No, she did answer. She was actually super helpful. She was super helpful. I think it was Charlie's that was not that helpful. Was it a male? I, I don't know. 
Everyone here has female of. Uh, I think Charlie's just couldn't hear me. I think that was what the issue was. Yeah, so when you land, it's kind of hard to tell what to do here. So I was just wondering, like, okay, so let's say you end up being a part of the SL cheerleading squad. Who are you competing against? Are you training with your teammates? Is this a good group of people to make friends with? Like that kind of thing. It's a huge group. We don't compete. We did a lot of work <laughs> for the role. Okay, so you don't compete. And so basically Venus was telling us that she was training for her panels. So really for life. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're just training for accolades, like who's the best dismounter, who has the best moves, that kind of thing within the group that you're already in? No. Okay. We do events. Okay, what if, what kind of events? Oh, performances. That sounds nice. AMC for clubs who hire us. Okay. And you dance at music venues. Okay, cool, cool. Cool. And how do you know a cheerleader is ready to perform at venues and do things like that with you? A hundred points. She finally got the hundred. We have four weeks of training and then you have to go to panel. There's assorted procedures with the trainers. Okay, and once you uh, pass your four weeks of training and you meet all your um, requirements in terms of scoring, then you're allowed to join the team and dance at different venues and different events and you become an official SL cheerleader. Yep, I only graduated myself recently. Cool. Have you done any events yourself? Wow. You did one yesterday. And did you have fun? Okay, where's that going to be? You can send the information to my box because I'm going to post this video today. And um, if people are interested, they could definitely, you know, go check it out tonight and see the SL cheerleading team. Awesome. Okay, cool. So SL... SC event board drill team at Young Hearts Park at 4 p.m. August 19th. Okay, sounds good. And that's the slurl, guys. 183, comma, 61, 300. Those are the coordinates. All right, well, thank you so much. I don't want to take too much of your time up. Thanks, Mia. Uh, unless there's any information you want to give to people who may want to join. It's okay. I understand you perfectly fine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Look at those flips. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So cool, cool, cool. So you have tryout kits here, guys. If you're 18 and older, uh, it's SL. CS, which is the SL cheerleading team. And then the second team seems to be the comments for teens, 13 and 17. If you're a cute little fireball between the ages of five and 12, you can join the Spitfires. There's the height requirement and these are all the kits. And I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. And here's the 2024 team. A couple pictures so if you guys are interested you can join that <laughs> cute thank you so much Mia nope that's it thanks a lot we're just looking on destinations and seeing things that we can do for fun so there's wrestling guys there's uh, yacht clubbing an epic surf center, strength training, looks like it's fun, snail racing, just tons of things to do on the dive shop, marinas, tons of things to do on destinations, just hit world and you can do that. Um, and that's it. So I think I'm going to stop the video here. I gave you five things that you can do. We talked about joining an SL family. We talked about joining an SL uh getting SL friends, using Instagram or your SL socials, such as Facebook, things like that. We talked about developing SL skills, joining SL teams to uh, meet new friends and find things to do and find like-minded people. Um, we did talk about exploring different communities like role play communities and also being part of events. And sometimes these things kind of are interwoven together hello how are you doing this looks like another cheerleader here they've all come out to say hi and sometimes these things are all interwoven like the sports team that you might join might also have events the scripting school you may go to may hold classes um and we talked about all these different things that you can do to kind of diversify your second life role play experience to unboring your second life so let's make second life fun again here are some tips and tricks that you can use to um just help yourself get off your platform. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Love you. Be sure to come back for the next one. Bye.